Hello guys, in this video we're going to learn about structural formulae and there are three ways of drawing that. We can have it in the expanded form, we can have it in the condensed form, and we can also write it or draw it in the skeletal form. Before we're going to go and look at the structural formulae, um, let's have a look at what does it mean by molecular formula. Molecular formula is defined as the chemical formula which shows the exact number of all atoms of each element in a compound. We have looked at this and we have learned about this at the beginning of the semester one. So this is just a revision for you. Over here, we have some examples of molecular formula. We have C6H12O6, C6H6, CCL4, C6H8O6, 62H6. So these are just the examples. And if you look at the molecular formula, it gives you the information of how many carbons in here, how many hydrogen, how many oxygens, for example. And when you look at the example over there, it gives you the information that there are one carbon atom and four chlorine atoms forming the molecules over here. So that is molecular formula. What about structural formula? Structural formula is defined as the chemical formula, which shows how the atoms in a molecule are bonded to each other different from what we have in here. For molecular formula, you would be able to know what are the elements involved and how many atoms of those elements are involved in the formation of the molecules. But when you look at the structural formula, it gives you a extra information, if you will, in which you would be able to know how the atoms in the molecule are bonded to each other. So that is the difference between molecular formula and structural formula. We can have it or we can draw structural formula in three ways. So these are just ways of drawing them. You can draw that in the expanded form. You can even show it in the condensed form. And you can even use the skeletal form. The expanded form of structural formula way of drawing this will show the atoms. All of the atoms will be shown of the elements. And we will be showing the bonds as well. All of the bonds will be shown. Example, as you are looking at your screen right now, so this is the example of expanded form of drawing the structural formula for C3H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, H8. Eight. You can see all of the atoms involved in the formation of this molecule and all of the bonds are shown. So that is what it meant by expanded. What about condense? For the condensed formats of drawing the structural formula, all of the atoms will be shown, but it will not going to show, you will not going to be showing the bonds, except for double and triple bonds. Remember that. All of the single bonds will be hidden, except for double and triple bonds. Example we have in here, as you can see, you can see that they are carbons, they are hydrogens, and this is the condensed form of the expanded that we have in here. So this is the expanded way of drawing this. And you can draw this in another form of condensed form in here. But if you have double bonds and triple bonds, those are bonds, bonds that you need to show when you are drawing condensed structure. What about skeletal then? 
In skeletal formats, it does not show the carbon and hydrogen atoms. All of the carbons, all of the hydrogen atoms will be hidden. You're going to show all of the bonds. For example, like this, you have structure number one over here, structure number two, three, and four. All of these are four different molecules. And when you look at the structures, you don't see any carbons. You do not see any hydrogens because they are hidden for skeletal structure. But other than carbons and hydrogen, you have to show it. For example, bromine, you have to show that other than carbon and hydrogen. When you look at this structure, it looks like a zigzag. Okay. Each of these points over here representing carbons. That means you have carbon number one. You have carbon right over here. Another carbon right over there. Another carbon right over here. So you have four carbons in this molecule. Same goes to number two. In number two, you have one carbon, two carbon, three carbons, and four carbons. The difference between number one and number two, number two has a multiple bond. Okay. For structure number three, you have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Number four, you have one, two, three, four, five carbons. So I'm going to write that down to you so that it will be easier for you to understand and to remember um, what does it mean by skeletal structure. Here you have four carbons. Okay, you have carbons here, carbons right there, right here, and right there. And in structure number two, you have four carbons as well. You have one, two, three, and four. And then for structure number three, you have six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then for structure number four, you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five carbons. Moving on to a few examples. So let's have a look at propene. How are we going to draw propene? So propene structure expanded is like this. You can see all of the atoms and you can see all of the bonds. And how are you going to write the condensed form? So the condensed form will be you have CH3 representing that one, CH3. And you have CH over here. You have CH and at that CH you have double bond. Double bond. And you have CH2. CH2 right there. So this is the condensed form of the expanded. And how do you do skeletal? Remember, you have one, two, three carbons. So you're just going to draw one, two, three. Okay, so you have one carbon, two carbon, three carbons. So you don't have to show the carbons and automatically you don't have to show the hydrogen. But it does not mean that you do not have it. You have it. It's just the way you're going to draw the structure of the propene. You can pick either if you want to draw in expanded form or you want to draw it in the condensed form or you want to draw it in the skeletal form. Okay, so this is the skeletal for um, propene. But what you need to add more, you need to put the double bond right there. So you have a double bond right here. Okay. So um, that is simply means that this is carbon number one, two, three, carbon number one, 
two, three. So this is carbon number one, two, and three. They are still the same propene. Just the way we're going to write it or draw it in different formats. Now let's have a look at two propanol. We have the um, expanded structure of two propanol like this. You have all of the atoms are shown and all of the bonds are shown. How are you going to do the condense? The condensed form will be you have CH3. And then over here you have CH and you have a functional group OH. Okay, so this one, you can put it in the brackets. You can have it CH because this is a functional group OH in brackets OH. And you have CH3, so you can have CH3 like that. So for the skeletal, you would be able to have one, two, three carbons, one, two, three carbon, one, two, three, and at the carbon, the middle one over here, you have OH. So you have to show that like that. Okay. So you'll have, this is carbon number one, two, and three, carbon number one, two and three carbon number one two and three okay so you have the oh group as you can see there the oh group the oh group is at carbon number two still at carbon number two oh group still at carbon number two the last example is going to be involving a cyclic form Okay, so you have the expanded form like this, okay, the expanded form of methyl cyclobutane. So this is methyl cyclobutane in the form of expanded to make it condense because you have cyclic. For cyclic, you have some exception in terms of drawing the condensed structure. So you have CH2, okay, since you have cyclic, you can do uh it like in this way you have h here and in and then you have one c h three so you can do like this for cyclic okay exception for cyclic because the bond over here it's very difficult for you to condense it um totally so you can show the bonds in the cyclic so the condensed structure for um two uh, for the methyl cyclobutane is this the skeletal you have one carbon two three so that is the skeletal for this I'm just gonna highlight that for you so this skeletal okay that skeletal over here refers to that and that, okay? And then you have this, okay? You have this part and that should be here. You can just make a one straight line. You don't have to show the carbon and hydrogen because that is skeletal. So this is the, um, skeletal form of that structure.